Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to look at who or what can you expect in love this month coming up. So let's see what messages we have for you. Keep in mind that these readings are not for every Aries watching. Take what resonates for you, but don't try to make this fit if it's not your story. Check out the Aries playlist linked in the description box. There's tons of videos there for your sign. And let's jump right in. For Aries. Spirit Angels Guides. Who or what is coming towards Aries in love? Who or what is coming towards Aries? TikTok. So something here to do with timing. Patience. waiting maybe you've been waiting for something to kind of take off or start regarding love what else for aries spirit what other guidance messages do you have for aries what can they expect in love what can they expect in love Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There is a disconnect between you. What else for Aries? What's going on for Aries? Cold shoulder. Okay, so you're not with this person. Maybe time has passed since this separation. Maybe there's a waiting period here that's happening. Um, like someone's waiting for something to happen with this connection. Cold shoulder is about like distance, coldness, feeling shut out. So I'm not getting that there's communication happening here for some time. All right, let's get to the tarot. Let's see what we can find out. What else can you tell us for Aries? Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aries? What can Aries expect in love what can aries expect in love Ooh. five of pentacles that's that cold shoulder energy eight of swords fear stuck energy and then the eight of pentacles bottom of the deck the six of pentacles okay so eight of pentacles someone's um, working on something putting in time and effort um into something we'll see when we clarify clarity please for aries regarding these energies tell me about this five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here oh i got two page of swords and the knight of swords so i feel like there is communication that might be happening here someone's thinking about it six of pentacles again because we have the six of pentacles at the bottom here i feel like someone has been feeling shut out has been cold has been distant but they want to talk with the knight of swords page of swords Tell me about this Page of Swords and Knight of Swords, please. Why is the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, the moon, Pisces energy. So someone has been quiet, um, keeping their feelings hidden. Maybe this is someone clearing the air, clearing up misunderstandings, clearing up. There's the Knight of Swords again. Yeah, it's like there's someone that wants to open up here, reveal something. Sometimes when I get like Ace of Swords with the, the moon, I think of someone, whatever was hidden underneath the surface, someone's bringing to light, right? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why is the Eight of Swords here, Spirit? The Queen of Cups. Can I get one more? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords, okay. Um, the High Priestess, the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone is afraid because of the unknown. Maybe someone's scared because they have kept 
things hidden or there hasn't been much communication because the high priestess is about secret knowledge. Um, you use your intuition to get the information, right? It's not freely given to you. I think that someone's still interested in another person with the King of Wands, Queen of Cups. There's still feelings here. Could be dealing with a uh, water sign, air, um, fire sign. I don't know why I couldn't say that. It does not have to be, but I feel like someone is scared to reach out because of everything that is unsaid with the High Priestess or whatever has been kind of kept silent or hidden, you know? So what's this Eight of Pentacles about? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit, for Aries? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Another card about balance, like the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles keep carrying more than one there's an ace of swords and the world wow so hmm, interesting the devil at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy i think that there's definitely this energy of communication um it's come up three times now it's like someone could be working up the courage here to communicate now the world is interesting because it's about endings beginnings why is the world here oh my god Ten of Swords. Okay, there's nothing else there. And over here we have the Nine of Swords flipped up. I'm going to look at these, but I'm not going to take them because there's just too many. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, and Strength, Leo Energy. I think that there was an ending here with the world. Now, I don't know if this is the ending that has happened between you and this person, or if individually one of you has gone through some sort of ending. Um, maybe someone wants to talk about the end so that there could be a new beginning. But I also, I don't know, I'm getting the sense of someone being able to make an offer now. After some time, two of wands, three of wands, you know, maybe they have courage now, or maybe there has been an ending that allows someone to come forward. Because this devil energy is telling me that there has been some sort of block here. Yeah, there's a two of swords, the devil. So that's fascinating someone's working i feel on this message or whatever this you know sometimes with uh, the ace of swords and the world any ace and then the world is like a new beginning a new start so it could be that someone's taking their time here with temperance patiently working on something to have this new start now, there's worries or anxieties about this new start, but I feel like someone's working on it, you know? Tell me more about what's going on here for Aries. What's going on in this connection that we need to know, Spirit? Okay. Mature woman. Feminine um, energy there. Someone um, older, perhaps wiser. Tell me about... What's going on here? Judication. So this is about waiting to make a decision. Again with the waiting. You know, there's this energy here of waiting. Kind of, it's like someone hasn't made a decision yet with judication. You're waiting for an outcome, waiting for a result. This could also be someone um, kind of like a third party energy friend, family member, co-worker, ex-partner, current partner, etc, etc. Um, let me get a romance angel as well. What else do we need to know, Spirit, for Aries? What else do we need to know? Ah. I feel like this is happening after, you know, sometime after a separation, Aries. So I'm speaking to an Aries where there has, yeah, time has worth waiting for is here so time has been a factor divine timing is at work in your love life let me get another one what else do we need to know about this connection what else do we need to know getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and then the bottom of the deck here is separation so yes I'm speaking to an Aries, there has already been a separation with your person 
or a separation is relevant here. Um, maybe you want to talk about a separation. We'll look at your person now to see what's going on because I do feel that there's there's definitely uh, communication that's going to be happening here. I mean, look at all these look at all these cards about communication and messages. So, okay, Let's see if we can get some insight into this person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with. Oops. Put this over here so I can clarify with that. Spirit, tell me about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Okay. What do we need to know about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? about this person, what do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? Wow, okay. Um, the devil shows up again, Capricorn energy, the chariot, Cancer energy, two of swords. I feel there was a block here and the higher font, Taurus energy. I feel like your person has been blocked or undecided about moving on from maybe this situation could be another commitment could be an unhealthy attachment it could be that they've been kind of pressured to do something or follow through with something with the higher font you know for appearances i don't normally get that like strongly but with that card but i am getting it now so okay let me get some more insights Okay. Tell me, oops, tell me more. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? I'm afraid. Yeah. Eight of Swords showed up. Nine of Swords as well. I desire you at the bottom of the deck. So there's interest, you know, there's that interest coming back in. I want to get one of these as well. Can I get some more insight into this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Spirit. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or someone that has the traits of an earth sign at this time. So it could be, you know, there's grounded energy, stable energy, slow energy with earth. Um, earth signs also tend to be very detail oriented. They think before they act. Bottom of the deck is peaceful, calm, and balanced. So let's clarify these. Let's get some insight here. I think your person wants to make some sort of move with the chariot, but I feel the devil and the two of swords is like a block. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? The magician? Why is the chariot here? I'm just going to get one card for all of these first. What can you tell me about the chariot? The moon again. Pisces energy. So much major arcana here. Major shifts in energy. Tell me about the two of swords. Five of wands. Yeah, there's, there's like a conflict, drama, something going on here. Why the higher font, Spirit? Why is the higher font here? The sun, okay. 
The moon and the sun. Interesting. Seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. More energy here of waiting for results. Patience. Taking your time. Planting seeds. And not really sure of the results. That's the seven of pentacles. I feel like your person is blocked here, undecided, has not been able to make a decision because there's other people involved or some sort of conflict or drama that's kind of preventing them from making a move. They could also be scared of causing conflicts, you know, drama. I feel like the magician is what they want to do, so I want to get more about that. But the devil is here. Sometimes these two energies together could be that someone's like completely obsessed with making something happen. But the devil is, you know, you have to take it into account that the devil typically leads to restriction and stuck energy. It's not like you become obsessed with something or completely like lusting after something and things magically work out. Typically with the devil, you're on the wrong path or make choices that put you on the wrong path. And it's about being aware to not let impulses and your desires take you down the wrong path. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. The chariot. So, okay. Having some confirmation here. So I feel like someone's manifesting or trying to move away from this devil energy. But the cherry is here with the moon. So there's a lack of clarity. There's also doubts, fears. Tell me more about the chariot. What do we need to know here, Spare about the chariot? Nine of swords, fear, anxiety, stress. So this person is stressing out or very fearful of making this move, moving forward. Yeah, strength, Leo energy. They need to have courage. And the fool at the bottom of the deck... The courage to take risks, the courage to go after a new beginning, the courage to trust and have faith that your journey ahead is going to work out is what I feel is the issue here. Now, I'm a little confused about this Hierophant and Sun energy. Can I get one more for the Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant here? Oh my god, that one like popped up. The Six of Cups. Why is the higher font here? Can I get one more? The Page of Cups. Death at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy with death. This could be an apology. Page of Cups with death. An apology for an ending. An apology for... I don't know. They, how something led to an ending. Page of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Sun. This is typically really good energy. The Sun is happy, joyful, radiant. Page of Cups is someone expressing themselves. Six of Cups is typically soulmate energy. I feel like this person, they had a good thing here and may want that again. It's like they're thinking of better times. But maybe something has to end here with death. Yeah, judgment. There's realizations happening here. So this is somebody that's looking back at the past and realizing that in order to have this future, which I feel is, this is like future goals or aspirations here, something has to end. An action needs to be taken. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. Deal with a burden. Be free, independent with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Not be scared. I also see restriction here with the Eight of Swords and the Devil. Someone stuck in an unhealthy situation. Didn't you just have a reading about this, Aries? I feel like this is someone that's waking up to the, the fact that maybe things ended for a reason in the past. Maybe so that they can have an opportunity now. Or something's ending right now to give them a new opportunity. We get one more. Oh my gosh. Three of Swords. That's the Three of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this isn't going to be easy. Whatever this is, it's not going to be easy. I feel like if this person 
um, was the one that initiated the separation. Well, I don't, I don't think it really matters who initiated it, but they were really hurt by it. Yeah, Eight of Cups. So this is someone very hurt by the separation. I feel like also if they have to walk away from something now, it's very difficult. No, this person's still thinking about the past. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I think what's going on here is that this person is being haunted by the past or is constantly thinking back to a time when they were happier. And maybe you're involved there, Aries. You have something to do with that, with the past. But... In order to have this, in order to change this future or change the present and have a better future, whatever way you want to slice it, uh, they need to move on or leave this, you know, get on this chariot. It's the only way. And this person's terrified to do it. I feel like they're worried about conflict and drama. And this is happening a lot in all of the different signs. I mean, I'm sorry if the message repeats, but... There's a reason it's happening. It's because I feel astrologically all of the signs are being affected by realizations and just this energy that we've been experiencing where because of COVID, because of everything that's happened, because of the current state of things, people are being forced to really dig deep and look at what truly makes them happy, what kind of life they want to lead, what kind of future they want, because the truth has been staring them in the face and it's no longer eat something they can ignore and that's happening for love as well as other things so that's what i feel is happening here um thank you so much for watching aries hopefully you enjoyed this reading if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care